Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Spider-Man Miles Morales on K-Wings Let's Plays. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified when more Spider-Man arrives. And special shout-outs to all our members, including our ultimates. If you guys want to hop aboard the membership train, all you got to do is click right here. Select the tier that works best for you. All right, it's time to swing back into action with more Spider-Man in New York City as Miles Morales. Oh, yeah. What is happening, spectacular spider friends? Welcome back to more spider lore, kind of, for the Crimson <laughs> Cowl. Kind of lore, e yeah. Even though this is not a costume for Miles Morales in the comics or Spider-Man, Crimson Cowl is a bad guy, and usually oh. she's a bad girl. Justine oh, wow. Hammer, who is the daughter of Justin Hammer, who is primarily a Iron Man bad guy, which you guys saw in the MCU, oh, uh, wow. Justin Hammer, yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. So, uh, That's let's see. That's weird. How did it get on Spider-Man? <laughs> uh, the Crimson Cowl has been four identities for different Marvelites. Uh, Ultron, the robot, used it at one time to conceal his identity. But for the most part, Justine Hammer, the daughter of the wealthy bad guy socialite and Iron Man's, not nemesis, but uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Frenemy. Um, Justin Hammer, rival company of Stark Industries. His daughter, who he did not really like, uh, she was kind of the spoiled brat, and uh, eventually she would use her father's shady underworld dealings um, to get involved with a life of crime. She oh. has no superpower, she's a regular human being, however, working with the Thunderbolts, which is like a bad guy, not really Suicide Squad. I don't know the comparison to make for these guys. Thunderbolts are a group of bad guys in the Marvel uh, Universe in comics and probably soon television. Who knows what they're going to do with the MCU, but uh, she kind of leads that group of ruffians and uh, she wears a cloak that's Ooh. known as the Crimson Cowl. Her face is obscured. And, uh, Do you want me to web sling? Yeah, you can no? web sling. You love this no, costume I for, up. for whatever yeah, reason. You think this? I like it. I think it looks really pretty. I mean, uh, manly. Uh, no. Now it well, makes I mean, sense why like it's a girl's it. costume because it's yeah, kind of it like is. very strikingly like pretty. Okay, so uh, Crimson Cowl. Her cowl is her abilities. It's like this special cloak that has like some techno abilities. It's able to do elongated stuff, basically like stretchy powers. Uh, it can take shapes. It can um, be used as a grappling hook. She's used it to strangle people. She's not a good girl. She's she's bad. She's not an anti-hero. So for me, it feels like when they were working on this suit for Miles Morales, yeah. that they decided, you know, uh, the Crimson Cowl probably works really well for... Uh, you know, a, a random suit we could give Miles. It's never been in a Spider-Man game before, and, you know, it'd be a nice little Easter egg if people actually knew about the Crimson Cowl, but I yeah. don't know anything about Justine. She's bad, bad lady. Um, she's crossed paths with different Marvel heroes, but mostly uh, I would say Iron Man is her main kind of, like, adversary, sort of. She's yeah. also battled Daredevil, Spider-Man, and uh, possibly the Avengers, I'm not really sure. She's not really big-time criminal. She's mm. a criminal. Yeah, she's and just kind of there. <laughs> rich girl with issues. Yeah, oh my gosh. Aren't there a lot of those characters nowadays? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, like, I really like the suit because it's, like, bright red. It looks like Santa. <laughs> I think it looks cool. It they should have given him a Santa beard. I, I think it looks like Red Hood, basically. That's why I think it looks cool. Yeah... Oh, and uh, before I forget, they have updated the game mm -hmm. now, so it's a lot easier to find uh, bad guys. Usually when the helicopter stage was around, um, sometimes the bad guys wouldn't show up on, like, different rooftops. So they actually display where the bad guys are now, which is makes it a lot easier than just trying to find them. I like that. I like that they're still updating this game, but this game still has a lot of issues. Yeah. Like floating heads, not sticking to walls properly, getting stuck in trees, yeah. which is really annoying. Um, not being able to climb up certain surfaces. Uh, I like how sometimes like the characters in the game actually interrupt you, like in a, a serious cutscene. Like you'll have JJ 
or the other girls podcast randomly pop up or someone will call you on the phone and have a conversation while you're trying to progress the story so that needs to be patched because that's not very good yeah definitely yeah i mean like i mean i like i like the suit it looks really cool i mean it's really striking like instead of the bright blue with the red or instead of the black with red it's completely red it's very bright and well he's wearing his classic uh miles morales like black uh, spider cowl is it just you know he has the crimson oh costume. then you have the costume over it yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I think it looks nice. I just, I don't know. That's really interesting that they chose a villain, though, to... Villainess. But it, I know, and, and a girl villain at that, so... Or, sorry, villainess, whatever the term You want to move to Chinatown? It's <sighs> for rent. Yeah, I just had a thought, but it completely... Oh, it's an office warehouse space. Warehouse space. So you could, you could have a, uh, actually, we couldn't afford it, but that would be, like, a, a K-Wings office area. Hmm... Yeah, I mean, like... Which a bunch of YouTubers are kind of regretting right now that they, really? they can't... Oh, yeah, they can't go to their offices. It's not so a... So they're uh, just, like... They just work from home anyway. Um, well, I mean, don't they use it as, like, a business? The only thing I would use for an office is have all my mail and everything come there. Mm -hmm. um, also, like, if I had somebody that needed to help me out, like, and work with me, they could drop off, like, you know, editing and stuff at the office. Um, mm hmm and I could also escape relatives or whatever and go to my office. Like, I wouldn't be home. I'd be at my office. Um, yeah. You know, like, I mean, there's a lot of things. Like, uh, it would be a great business expense if you were paying $1,000 a month for rent for it. Then oh, no. There's office, off. office space. We were looking at uh, one area in central Pennsylvania when we first came here. And in it's order, much more than yeah, that. Yeah, in order to rent the office for... It was a decent sized office. Though. It was ba yeah. it basically. I, I be like, saw it. It was yeah. next to a paint store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was. Um, let's see. It was like a small paint store, though, like an outlet. Yeah. It was like twenty one hundred a month. Oh my god. Yeah, and that that's in the boonies of Pennsylvania. Honestly, though, you technically, I always wondered if you could do this: hmm. rent an office space, but then have a little place that you could just sleep there. Uh, I mean, I don't... Oh, you couldn't cook or anything, though. No, you can't. You can't really cook or anything like that. But that would be really interesting, like, because technically, I know f you... There is a law where... Oh, how do I spin... How do I do the flip thing? Flips? Uh, you would hold in square and oh. X at the same time. <laughs> it's not yeah, working okay. out for me. Then, <laughs> you have to do it at the same time. Like, what, when you're up in the air. There, you're flipping. I just saw it. I just thought I'd get some height, and there you go. So, uh, people are probably wondering... Ooh, that's going to leave a mark. People are wondering, hey, how did this rich bad. girl uh, manage to get all this technology and become the Crimson Cowl? Well, mm. I mean, just because she was a rich girl doesn't mean she didn't have any talents. She actually has a uh, lot of athleticism skills, um, because, you know, daddy's money went and did stuff. Um, you always so have extra hit, hit, time hit, to work the gym. on skills. When yep, you're... she's also a shrewd businesswoman, so that's how she's able to make a lot of shady dealings in the underworld. Um, so she's a decent negotiator, but also manipulates people. When deals don't go well, she uses her cloak to strangle lesser-known mobsters. So she gains a reputation as not being a very forgiving um, boss. Uh, if you could, I'm trying to see if there was actually a picture of her Ouch. so you could see what she looks like. But yeah, Amber's this is playing. Not looking, obviously, this is not. I'm playing. So she made her first appearance in 1997 Ouch. as part of uh, Thunderbolts number three, and uh, her team affiliations have been the Masters of Evil. So again, it's it's very interesting that they would choose this suit for Miles. Uh, because it, I don't, it doesn't really work. I guess they just thought it looked cool. I, I really think what it was, they needed a bunch of suits in order to, um... Like, in, fill out... The, yeah, to fill out a quota. Because the first Spider-Man game had, like, over 20 suits or something like that. This one has 19. And they were probably like, what kind of cool suits from the Marvel Universe could we use? Uh, in the Miles Morales game, and they're like, oh, Crimson Cowl has kind of like a holiday feel to it. You know, they really should have added uh, Santa Beard, and Crimson Cowl has a cape, though. It's not just like a... That's where you get the idea of Red Hood. You're like, yeah. oh, it, it, it has a Red Hood vibe to me. It's like, yeah, because, I mean, it, it's it, supposed to be a cloak. It's supposed to have a cape. Yeah, Crimson Cowl is supposed to be so, cloaked. 
basically, even though this suit really looks awesome, mm-hmm. if you actually think about how it relates Poor to Miles. comics, this really has nothing to do with Miles at all. No, it's, just, it's a little, it's like an Easter egg. Is what it is. It's it's not um, you know anything major, um, but yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, like hearing what the actual suit is about, I probably wouldn't have. If I was working for the company, I wouldn't have put it in. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's worked with Hydra before. I didn't know that. Um, she's of course operated out of New York City, so that would put her in uh, direct. Uh, line of sight of, say, Spider-Man, Fantastic Four, maybe sometimes the Avengers. And Iron Man actually operates uh, quite a bit throughout New York City and um, California, so he would definitely bump into the Hammers. And you guys remember the Hammers from um, the one of the Iron Man movies. I think it was Iron Man 2. I believe mm. Justin Hammer was the... Because there was an old guy that was the bad guy of Iron Man 1. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, who else? What else has she done? Da, 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 da. She knows Silver Sable. Um, she had. Oh, of course she does. Yeah, of course she does. And <laughs> a little bit about her powers again, just so people can understand. Like, you were probably like, how in the world can the cloak do all this stuff? It has like technology built into it. You could think like nanites or I, I don't know the different like Marvel terms. I only know DC. DC would be like nanites and <laughs> yeah. things like that. Tiny little microscope thingies that are able to mm. uh, transmutate and shapes and things like that. So the cloak gives her shape shifting powers. Uh, it kind of is kind of like a cool version of Clayface, but it's technology. And it's it's a female baddie, so yeah, very very different. That one movie with Baymax and it had nanites, so that's mm-hmm. Marvel, mm-hmm. kind of. I mean, it's a Marvel comic. I think also part of the reason why um, they really wanted to use this character too, since Marvel comes from, or sorry, Miles comes from the Ultimate Universe of Marvel comics. It's not six one six Marvel. Justine is also from the Ultimate Universe. So oh, she is. Okay. She's an ultimate universe villain. So they're probably like, "Hey, let's borrow some more from Miles's um, world and bring in a, you know, a costume that would work because it's Miles' universe." So Crimson Cowl is from Miles' universe, according to uh, this stuff. And Justin That's Hammer cool. apparently is dead in her Rock universe or something like that. I don't know. Kind of weird. Uh, Crimson Cowl has been a featured boss in Facebook's Marvel Avengers Alliance game. That's it. And they, they actually don't have it listed that she is uh, inspired by the Crimson Cowl suit that uh, Miles Morales wears in this game. So it's, it's just kind of like a fun little Easter egg. And uh, that pretty much is all the info I have on that without diving into <laughs> I'm just so in much windows. ultimate stuff. Ooh, a snowman! Go go to take a picture with the snowman. I don't know. Um, hit start, selfie. hit start or options. Go down to photo mode. Yep, and uh, you're gonna click over free, like two times, mm-hmm. and then it'll give you a selfie. No, no, no. Click, click as in move the joystick. Mm-hmm. Oh. There you go. Now just position Miles in front of the snowman. No, no, no. The other joystick on. Oh. Yeah, the one that actually moves him. Okay. You're almost to the snowman. Is that as far as they're going to let you go? They're being stupid. They're making me... I have to be on the other side. Okay, so be on the other side. Exit out. And then walk over to him and... Or, you know, Uh. and just do it again. Okay, your back is to him. I think you want to walk out in front of him, like, just a little ways. Come closer, 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 close. Stop. That's good. He should make it in the picture now. It is pretty cool. So photo mode has been in uh, the Spider-Man stuff for some time. Then you just have to move Miles out of the way a little bit. Yeah, there you go. That's okay. stupid. It's not really in the picture. Sure it is. Hit hide UI. <laughs> there, that works too. If you if you hit triangle, you're going to hide the UI. What? There you go. And then we just... Wink. There you go. Okay, thank you. Now you have it. Well, I mean, you, you can also, if you want to take a picture like this, then you hit this button. And then... It would. Screenshot? Yeah, there you go. Okay. It saved the screenshot now. Ta da! Yay! Yay! I actually like how PS5 handles things a little bit more. Man, you're so warm. You just held on to this controller for a few minutes and it's like. 
my gosh. <sighs> I've been weird lately. It's like, it's like a little so oven. Long. I've been really weird. Oh, wow. It's a fresh market. I, I don't remember seeing this. This is nice. I don't feel sick or anything. I'm just really warm. Nah, it's, like, okay. it's okay. Maybe I'm warm because Zelda's warm. You and Zelda share the same temperature? Is that what's going on? Yeah, we're like in E.T., the movie where Elliot and E.T. were sharing like their emotions or something. Ah. They had a symbiotic relationship or something. Or when E.T. was hurt, then Elliot would feel pain. They, they forgot to animate whatever was supposed to be in here. They, they're just holding up a wall. There's nothing here. Uh, if this was a bank, there would at least be like a little teller place there or something like that. There's nothing yeah. here. So they didn't animate this at all. That's funny. Yeah. What is that supposed to be? Wait, 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 wait. It is a meats... Halal meats and cheese. Where's the counter? There's there's no chairs. It's supposed there's, to be selling meats and cheese. Yeah, there's no merchandise in there whatsoever. Oh, uh, see, stuff like that just bothers me. And I, I know, I know, we're, we're gonna have a Gotham Knights game that's not gonna be barren and whatever again. Um, so there is life in the Spider-Man game, but hopefully in a couple years, like less than five years, when you interact with a building in a video game, in a superhero game, there will actually be, I don't know, something inside the building instead of just like this big, this is, this to me, this would be acceptable in 2002 Spider-Man game. That would make sense. Except in the 2002 Spider-Man game, at least they would draw on the wall to make it look like there was something in there to give the appearance. This is just lazy. Like, super lazy. Yeah, you would think they would at least, dr like, draw a picture of it. But look, here's the butchers. Yeah. They're the butchers right there, but where, you know, there's a sign. But they could have at least drew, uh, drew on the wall to give that, like, as you're swinging you, through the city, you could kind of see that something was supposed to be in there. Yeah. And then when you go in, yeah, you get, like, a little laugh, like, ah, ha, ha, look, there's nothing in there. But, well, there should be a counter or maybe some, at least, maybe if they don't have the meats out front, they would have the cheeses out front, at least. Mm-hmm. Like, they usually have Yep. It's just something it's, on display. It's kind of, it's kind of weird. But yeah, um, I hope that uh, whoever does those useless facts on the internet, that they'll actually add um, some stuff about the Crimson Cowl, because that's the only uh, info we have about this, yeah. is the Justine Hammer character from the Ultimate Comics, as she is the inspiration for why Miles I mean, has the suit in this game. It's one of the nicest looking suits, I feel. I so like it. I think it looks really cool. Stand. But again... It only looks cool to me because it looks like it's Spider-Man cosplaying as Red Hood. Yeah. From the DC Universe, honestly. So yep. it, that's why it looks cool to me. So I mean I don't I didn't even know. I would have never like I would have never guessed in a million years it was a spider or, or some kind of Marvel villain called Justine. Do you want do you wanna know what I was thinking when I first saw the suit before it said Crimson Cowl? Santa? I, no, I thought that they were doing their own variation of the Scarlet Spider costume, which oh. is red. Oh. Yeah, I thought there might have been a red spider somewhere, but I didn't, I couldn't remember what it was called. Scarlet Spider. Because yeah. Scarlet means red. Oh, clever. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeet. Bye bye. Oh, I can't see. Darn. Is that everybody? Nope. Now it's everybody. Oh, nope, no. Not everybody. This fool's still here. Bye bye. Oh, right in the fountain. That's cold. For that guy. <laughs> uh, good times. But yeah. Hopefully, you guys are uh, enjoying our little spider uh, video series. Um, that pretty much wraps it up for the Crimson Cowl. I don't really have anything else to share. Look, there. See? They actually had furniture in there. Hmm. And, I mean, it's That's a... That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't understand why they didn't do that. And that's not actually... Well, I can't tell if that's actually furniture or if that's painted. But, Luke... It might appear the painted. The city is, like, so huge. Oh, I know, but I'm just, you know... I, you know, this goes back to all those years as a game journalist, though, and just... Uh, seeing how the world has changed so much, but yet some practices are still put into play. 
when it comes to, you know, just uh, hurriedly getting things out, you know? Yeah, getting it out in a hurry, yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't even think, could they update that and actually add stuff inside buildings or no? <laughs> Especially buildings that you're going to interact with. I don't know, like, I don't know. I'm talking about actual buildings you go inside, not like... Oh, you mean more buildings that you would actually... Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. I understand what you're saying. Like, if it's a building that you're actually in going to interact with and the glass can break, you would think that there would be a counter in there. Oh, no, we're not doing the helicopter. But I don't... Game. I don't really care about the helicopter, to be honest. I don't know, honey. I'm not very... I mean... I I'm used to playing stuff on the Sega Genesis, so this is always um, this always looks good to me. You haven't you haven't really played stuff on the Genesis in some time. You've been through you've you've had a Wii, a DS, 3DS, know, but PS3, PS4. I don't I set my expectations no, low like for most happy. things. Ah, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, of course I would want it to be real. It looks weird. Of course it looks weird. Oh wow! I just noticed a change. What? Um, if you are playing this game in the winter time now on the, the trucks, more. they add plows now. Oh, that's a nice little touch. Yeah, I mean, look, the the counter, it doesn't look normal. It, it doesn't look normal at all, but I just, Ooh. I mean. <sighs> so that's pretty. I like that. Here's what I feel like. I feel like for me, like every, every detail they put, though, that's less work they can spend. That's very pretty. I just feel like the, the. Like, if I was making this game, I would probably slap it together, too, honestly. I would make a few buildings look really shiny, and then I would just put the bad stuff in places I hope nobody would ever go. <laughs> so, 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 it's, so, it would be so hard to make a recreation of New York City. It's like, oh my gosh. Hey, so many buildings. There is a lot of buildings. Oh, uh, I, I just... Oh, you can't... On glass? He can't stick to glass? I don't know if I should say my opinion, but I feel like... Wow. I feel like, yes, I agree with you, but I feel like if you actually... Say you spent the next five, ten years, you know, going into game design, and you started working for a game company, and you were working on a game like this, I think maybe you would finally realize, like, oh, like, this is impossible. I can never put every detail on this. I don't know. That's how I feel. But maybe you're. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. Maybe it's easier than I think. I don't know what it. It's hard for me. You're. You've been the game journalist for a long time. So for me, I just assume when they don't do something that they were trying really, really hard, and they were sweating tears, and then they sweating tears, and then they got to the point where they were just like, I can't pay my rent anymore because I'm working so hard to make this game perfect. And I just have to put it out so I can get paid for it at this point. So this is the best it's going to be. I hope nobody like K-Wing, the real Game Master, will say anything about the fact that there's no table in this room because I just don't have time to put it in right now because I really need to sell this game and make my rent. Okay. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> that, that's, uh... <laughs> so that just happened. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well then, <laughs> oh, things always get weird with Amber. But I could be wrong. But I mean, you could be wrong. <laughs> Maybe they were just like, they were just like, should we put the table in here? And it's like, nah. It's yeah. three o'clock. Let's go home early. We'll just break down that we did put the table. I mean, yeah, they're sitting there. The probability <laughs> of the player actually going inside one of these buildings to save a hostage is probably like 0.5%. So, you know, sometimes it's just going to be an empty room because, you know, we have that deadline and it's more important that Spider-Man looks good and... New York City operates. Ooh, don't forget to add the plow in the in the winter time. Oh yeah, that's a nice touch. People will really appreciate that. Uh, you appreciated it. I did. Nobody else mentioned it. I didn't know that because I've been when it's not snowing, those trucks they don't have the plow on them. So it makes sense that certain trucks would actually have a plow fitted because you know in New York City, uh, sometimes businesses double as like multiple things. Like kind of like a multitask thing like yes it's a garbage truck but at the same time it could also be the you know help with plowing and you don't know 
um, yeah, whatever I, whatever job they need to do. But I thought you were the one when everyone was bashing the Wii. You were always the one that was like, gameplay is more important than graphics. And that's what I have to say to you this day. <laughs> I've been spoiled by and a lot of visual stuff. response to that. See, look at all the those details they have at Mulberry Restaurant. Ooh, that's nice, too. Mm. Whoops. See, he does look cool with that. He looks cool with the hood. He does look cool with the hood. I just wish you had, like, an option to add a The Santa fact beard. that it's a villain and, like, a girl villain kind of makes me feel bad for Miles for wearing this because it's, like... There might have been a, 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 a male <laughs> version of the uh, Crimson Cowl. But I guess it could it's, go back it's not, and forth. It's inspired by the Crimson Cowl. It's, yeah. not, it's not the Crimson Cowl because Crimson Cowl... Oh, are there people eating in that restaurant? <gasps> There's nobody there. There's well, not I mean, a it single is, person. It is, it's 2020. You can't eat inside restaurants anymore. You have to order food to go. So it makes sense. Yeah, and there won't be any restaurants anymore eventually. Mm. <laughs> I'm just... I feel so... I was actually disturbed, though. Like, the, the DoorDash people, like, they were doing a, a thing on Twitter about it. Most of the people who drop off your food, they're not even wearing gloves. Yeah. Like, so, I mean, it's very important that you guys and gals wash your hands because they're not washing their hands. They're just delivering food and you have no idea what they've touched and, you know, all this other stuff. So they, they could have the Rona. Um, it's not like it, there's any, when you get, yeah, it's not like when you get Grubhub or anything, it doesn't have a signed statement that people swear, that, you know, that they wash their hands. There's nothing like She that. was literally filming a documentary and she didn't have her hands, like. Um, she only wore a mask when she was delivering the food. That does Jack. Yeah, and I, I don't. I wouldn't. Even... I wouldn't say we have a friend. It's not really a friend. I have a colleague who just got uh, the Rona because, like, from the DoorDash service. At least that's what he thinks because he's been super careful. Um, the only time that he kind of lets his guard down sometimes is when fast food or whatever food was delivered to his house, and you know that's how he got it. That's the time you should be most on your guard. Exactly. Because... Exactly. See, this is why you're just... You're just whoops. But you also have to re remember, like... I don't Wait, even want to go We can this. We can break cars? <sighs> we, I think we can break cars. Let's test this theory. Oh, like, never mind. I don't know how to go into this, but, like... There's so many things. There's so many times, like... I was trying to explain, uh, I could go into this for hours, it's just, I don't know, it's just, you realize those people are handling, like, those people that work fast food, that mm -hmm. you hand them the money and they give you your food, you just handed them money, that money's probably been touched by hundreds of people. One thing working at a bank, like, they always had hand sanitizer, because they said one of the dirtiest things in the world is money. Yep. And they don't mean by, like, being immoral dirty. Wah -ha. They mean, like, it's actually dirty. It has germs all over it. Like, money has been touched by so many people. Think about it. You give a dollar to the gas station. They take that money, all that stuff, put it into the bank. The bank shuffles it around, gives it back to you. Then it goes to, who knows what, a, a grocery store. Then that goes into the hand of a person that works at the grocery store. It's been touched by so many people. It just goes on and on and on. You have on no idea on. the amount of people that have touched the money. Like, honestly, if you really wanted to shut down this whole, like, zombie apocalypse, just don't allow anyone to use money. Oh crap! They might do that. That would be. No, no, no! Don't give people ideas, Amber. I mean, we use digital currency, kind of. Oh, I. Well, I mean, it's... I use cash because I don't ah. want I don't want IRS tracking my spending. I okay, let's that. let's not go down that rabbit hole right now. But yeah, uh, I'm trying to think what else. <laughs> Maybe I should be using my digital card on on honestly, because then I could actually just wipe it down. After I'm done using it, honestly, now that I'm thinking about that, I just am making myself an idea. Oh, uh, I, I didn't. I was just thinking about this just now. I think that also part of the reason why they gave him this basically scarlet slash crimson cowl inspired look is it it goes really well with the the Christmas motif for you know part of the game because you do this is actually a suit that's unlocked like pretty early in the game. Uh, you get it, I want to say, like, around level 5 or 6. I don't remember. It's, it's been a while. But the red, it just goes so well with, like, the snow, and especially at night. It just 
It's a very clean looking suit that fits Miles and uh, his version of New York City, which is basically Peter's version of New York as well. But it's good times. So anyway, people, that is going to do it for today's yeah. somewhat spider lore. Uh, um, not really much known about this character because it's Santa still... suit. Yeah, it's still debated whether or not uh, the people who made the costume were inspired by the Crimson Cowl from Marvel Comics or if they're fans of Red Hood or if they're just trying <laughs> to do kind of like a street Spider-Man look for Miles slash Santa. Nobody knows. Santa. Santa Miles. But um, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Stay tuned for more spider uh, lore tomorrow as we talk about another Spider-Man suit and how it relates yeah. to comics and characters that may or may not have inspired it. Awesome. And um, stay tuned to our newest Let's Play of Rice and Ruin um, later today, as well as an awesome live stream again at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on something else. Until then, God bless and happy gaming. Thanks so much for watching. See